Americans who have lived in Russia, what are some of the biggest misconceptions Americans have about Russia? Most of them either don't care about America or actually like it. I'm confused. You mean to tell me that people in other countries aren't always thinking about how great America is? Live there for six months for study abroad. Many urban Russians are really well educated and hard working, much more so than I would argue the average American is. Though, my impression is that young Russian men often just do school slash hang out slash work while their female counterparts do chores slash raise children slash etc. in addition to work and school. The former Soviets especially are highly educated, that being said they tend to have strange superstitions and backwards views on gender roles, sexuality, and some topics in biology. Also many do not have the money to travel far out of the country so I think their perspective is mainly limited to Russian affairs in nearby regions. Most are not involved in politics or highly supportive of their government, it's really an arena they have no power in, anyway, they're just trying to get by in daily life. Not everyone is drinking vodka 24-7. There may be a lot of drunks but there are also a lot of hard-working people the same as in America. Not only that, when Russians drink vodka, they never say Nazdorovy they say Zostorovj instead. Their winners aren't as cold as they're made out to be. It's just a lack of smiling that makes the place less warm. Lots of posts about how they're good people is this a misconception? As an American, I don't really think of the Russian people as bad in general, wherever you go, people are okay because, they're people, same as you. It's the people chasing power or control that are shit. Well American movies for the past 60 years have always had a Russian as a bad guy. If a character has a Russian accent, they are always without a doubt a bad guy. Americans think that the typical Russian spends two hours a day standing in line in the snow wearing a fur long hat waiting for their daily ration of potatoes and vodka, whereas in reality, the line is three hours long. I don't think Americans understand that Russia has race issues, too. Russians are diverse as Americans, with people from the East that look practically Korean and then Central Asians from the former Soviet republics. There's also tension over this, too. Just as there is over here, people are universally people, just born and raised with different ways of doing things. At the end of the day you can find something in common with anyone, even as an American in Russia. I lived in Moscow for a bit when I was in college back in 2007, so I can tell you about Russia as a whole because it's a massive place with many ethnicities and ideas, but I can tell you about Moscow, as a whole it's not wildly off. People like Vodka, they applaud strong leaders even at the cost of certain liberties. It's a very complex sociological setup. I'd say one of the biggest misconceptions we have is that Russians are depressed and slash or off-putting. This is sort of true in a sense that you don't make eye contact with people on the streets or tip your hat in public or stop to pet someone's dog which was rough for me since I'm from Texas and it would be rude not to smile and nod at someone who was walking by so there is this kind of weird public side of people who frown and look away when you are on the street. Another one is, while a lot of people drink, not everyone does. I can see a clear age divide in this, people who are in their 20s and 30s now tend to drink a lot less and are more career driven people. Lastly that Russians don't like Americans, I found the opposite to be true. They love our culture and the massive amounts of consumable media America makes. I can tell you how many times the guy across the hall, Dima, would ask me to translate rap lyrics for him so he could understand the song. I spent three months in Moscow, and before I left I went to my pharmacist to stock up on all my meds. When he heard where I was going, he got the shocked look on his face and said, but you'll be kidnapped. They ride around the streets with Kalashnikovs there. I assured him it wasn't like that and that I'd be fine, but he was dubious. Ironically, less than a year after I returned from my trip he was shot and killed in his store in a suspected robbery, though no one was ever caught. Please don't let this thread destroy my idea that all Russian women are fucking gorgeous. Other than thought, I don't really think about Russia just like they don't think about America. Dude of course they are. I go to Russia every summer for around 3 months and Russia seems pretty western, there's western food, 
fast food chains, stores and basically everything the US has. Also they don't try to hide anything to foreigners. Many places I've been to in Russia, are not as well kept as Moscow or St. Petersburg, but the government does not give special treatment to foreigners, as it might have been in the USSR. Russian food is really good and healthier than average food in America. I have serious stomach problems here and many things that I can't eat. In Russia, I was trying to keep to my same diet at first but I eventually discovered that I could eat everything and felt fantastic the whole time. I haven't felt better physically in years. I would seriously consider moving back there for that alone. Also, I think most people don't know that you can't buy alcohol in a grocery or liquor store after 11 p.m. You can get a drink at a bar or restaurant but you can't buy a bottle of wine or even a single serving beer out of the beverage case at the grocery store. That it's always gloomy and depressing. St. Petersburg is gorgeous in the spring slash early summer the white nights almost make up for the fact that in December the sun rises at 10 a.m. I have lived in Moscow back in 2013 and decided to move here indefinitely from NorCal. What can I say? I love it here, besides shitty retail, lack of smiling and sunlight in winter time. Shout out to Costco and Amazon. Love, daddy anyways. Russians love or are pretty neutral towards American culture. They consume Hollywood and are starting to get around to Halloween, Thanksgiving and Black Friday, which is pretty interesting have to explain to people about the traditions for each day. Also McDonald's, the busiest McDonald's is in Moscow. It has slash had like 27 cash registers, and it's always always busy. And in regards to vodka, well the younger people here either don't like it, have negative connotations attached to it or prefer other drinks. Girls love fruity drinks or wine and guys at least that I associate with drink whiskey, scotch or don't drink at all. Walking to work right now, we'll post later. Living here now and have been for about 4 years. Politically, they do not worship Putin. Many of them especially men do support them. I don't talk a lot about politics, but there might be more good reasons to do that than Americans think. The media consumed here and there are totally different, of course. They see him as strong, but also somewhat kind, personable, and even funny, which is not at all how Americans think of him. Not an American but an Australian who spent about two months living in Russia Moscow mostly. The food was much better than expected Terramok for the cheap win. Public transport is so much better than Sydney. The metro is awesome. You're all much nicer than expected. I never want to drive with a Russian again so that's a stereotype confirmed. Gopniks aren't everywhere but they are huge bricks. Apartments aren't that tiny. It's an alright country, and not crumbling apart as it often is portrayed on TV. What is true is that there are some seriously corrupt police, and you guys aren't too gentle with the freshly dead from what I saw either. Also, as soon as people found out we were Australian and not American they were much nicer. Solid 5 slash 7. My SO and I taught English in Ufa, Russia for 18 months. Your average Russian man isn't a really big guy. I felt tall being 5'8". A drinking laws are pretty restrictive. You can't buy liquor after 10 to 0 and you can buy beer after midnight. It's worse in Moscow. I think it's 8 to 0 for liquor and 10 to 0 for beer. It may even be 6 0. I can't remember. I met more Russians that didn't drink than Americans. One no and it wasn't because I was living in a primarily Muslim region. A lot of the Muslims one met did drink. The drinking and driving limit is 0 so if you offer someone a beer when they come over to your house they'll usually decline. It was not at all dangerous. I didn't have any trouble in the 18 months I lived there. I was never hassled by the Russian police and never had to bribe anyone. There are probably more but I can't think of any right now. If someone wants to know whether something is true or not I'd be happy to answer. I've never been to Russia. Reddick loves it when the wrong people answer questions. But, I did take a six-week training class for work that was about half Russians. The class was in Abu Dhabi. What I learned from that class was that Russia is fucking huge, and the culture varies wildly. Half of the Russians wanted nothing to do with the Americans and just talked to each other in Russian the whole time. The other half was very friendly towards us and seemed to connect with us more than they connected with the other Russians. They told us that it was culture differences based on where in Russia they were from. I found Russians to be very kind and genuine a lot of the time. If you ask someone for help they will go out of their way to help you. 
One of my friends fixed my computer, a guy I barely knew at the university would help me learn SolidWorks whenever I asked and even offered to give me Skype lessons whenever I needed. A random kid I befriended at a conference who was working as a staff member accompanied me all the way back to my home which was on the opposite side of the city. It was many hours out of his way he was from the outskirts. A professor I barely knew took me on in a short term project that I am sure my teachers in the US would think of as a waste of their time. Generally. Professors take more personal responsibility for your success than in the US. Russians love European culture and many are happy to talk to Americans. If you are an American in Russia, you are a novelty. People will want to practice their English with you because they rarely meet native English speakers. I have been thanked on multiple occasions for coming to Russia and also asked why I would even want to go there. Russians have a shared sense of history and culture at a level of sophistication that surprised me as an American. Like, I've read some classics in school but they aren't woven into the fabric of my daily life. But, Russians do not seem to have a lot of pride in their country as a political entity or think highly of themselves as accomplished individuals. They tend to be more family-centric or group-centric and lack self-empowered notions of American individualism. Thank you a lot for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.